Dan from Camden, New Jersey has a question about a hot garage. Yeah, he wants some relief. Oh. Dan writes air conditioning. <laughs> I have this two car garage with a finished storage space above and a vaulted ceiling here. He sent this picture in it. Nice. Up in Camden, New Jersey. It's very nice. I assume you don't leave that flower out all winter um, in Camden, New Jersey, <laughs> right? Anyway, other than one window that you can see right here in the picture, I can see it. right? and it's an operating window, so you can open it. Yeah. He has it open for venting already there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, other than that window, the space is unvented and it can get into the 90s, even when it's only about 70 outside. And this makes the garage uncomfortable too. So I tried opening the garage door and the window to circulate the air through, didn't help. So Tom Dan wants to know, will it help to cool off the building if you put some ventilation up in the garage attic? No. Uh, we wish in Houston our garages only got to 90. <laughs> That's true. First off. <laughs> we melt rocks in the garages here. Yeah, my garage get up to over 110 degrees. Uh, it's the nature of an unconditioned space. You want to cool a house, use an air conditioner. You want to cool a garage, use an air conditioner. You can move hot air through it all you want, but it might make you feel more comfortable as mm -hmm. the air moves over your skin. Mm -hmm. But the temperature in the garage is going to be hot. And the only way to make a building not hot is to air condition it. And so that... and. Quite frankly, I do my garage. I have an air conditioner in it. A lot of people down here in the South, we do that if we use our garage to work in. But that's the way to go is to do that. As far as putting a bunch of holes in the, in the roof and stuff, it's not going to cool it off by any means. It will ventilate some. The heat will go out, but heat gets tra uh, replaced because hot air comes in, hot air goes out. It's not going to cool it down as the air conditioner would. Hmm. Garages are hot in the summer. Well, the fact that he says, and there's a kind of a clue to that thing, and he says that even when it cools off, the garage stays hot. I'm wondering if he, if when they built that, and I'm sure looking at the construction there of that house, that the garage was insulated really well. And well, so what happens is it gets hot, and it stays hot because it's insulated. That's true, and they do insulate garages. I had one up in Lake Placid, New York. It was insulated, insulated doors, and I had a heating system in it mm -hmm. because when it's freezing outside, you bring your cars in, you want your cars to be somewhere at a deep and te decent temperature around <laughs> 40 degrees, which you say, oh, 40 degrees, that's cold. Yeah, in Houston, yeah. but not in New not Jersey there. in the wintertime. No. So I'm sure it is heated, no. and I'm sure it is insulated, and if you want it cool, you'd have to put maybe a... Oh, just a ductless uh, system in there just to cool it off with the air conditioner if you go out there and work. If you're going to be out there a lot. Sure. Yeah, I probably would just let it go. You, you remind me when you talked about taking the cars inside to warm mm -hmm. up. Where I grew up in northern New Hampshire, we used to have to plug the cars in at night. We put a freeze plug in, which yep. basically kept the oil in the motor from solidifying or, or becoming too sludgy for the car to start. And when you come out yep. in the morning, you'd have to use a lighter on your key to get the lock, to, to warm the lock so it wasn't frozen. So If it's outside. But inside in a heated garage, that's why I used to keep mine in the heated yeah. garage, about 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. You go out there, it felt like summertime. <laughs> you know, the car was ready to go, but leaving them outside, it's tough. Remember in the wintertime, you drive in the car for the first few minutes you're driving, the car's going go -gunk, go -gunk, go -gunk, because of the flat point on the bottom of the tire is frozen? Yeah, you get cold. Yeah. I bet it doesn't get that cold in Camden, New Jersey, Dan. <laughs> no, but it does get cold. <laughs> so it does. All right. But we're warm to your questions. Go ahead and send them to us at homeshowradio.com. It's under the Ask Tom tab.